Now, once again, Sepp Blatter under pressure to resign from one of the most important jobs in world football, heading up FIFA. This time, huge international sponsors like Coca-Cola and McDonald's telling him it is time to go. He doesn't have any plans to leave. Let's go to Leamington Spa. Dr David Weber is a football economist from the University of Warwick. Good to talk to you, David. Um, let me ask a very naive question. He's facing a criminal investigation. He's got critics all over the planet. Why hasn't he resigned? Um, this is classic but blatter. Um, he has had a number of allegations thrown at him in the past. Um, he's proved to be remarkably durable um, and he's um, sticking to it. He's sticking to his guns. He maintains that he's done nothing wrong um, and that in fact he's actually but, helping but now, uh, the investigators. David, now the very people who give football an awful lot of money, or at least the American ones, four of the big American um, advertisings, the big sponsor di sponsorship deals are saying, look, pal, it really is time to go. And still he says no. I think there's an interesting game of chess going on here. Um, Blatter knows that these uh, organisations have been after him before. Uh, your viewers will remember back in May, it, Visa, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, they all came out and they all said uh, that they wanted uh, urgent reform at the heart of FIFA. And Blatter stuck to his guns then. Blatter believes that even if these sponsors do pull out, I would imagine that he thinks, well, there are plenty of other sponsors that will uh, quite happily pour money uh, into FIFA into, and into world football. Do you think that's the case, though? Is that, is that a, a justified... Um, calculation. Would you, at this point in time, invest in football as a brand with all that's going on? I personally wouldn't. Um, and I would imagine that there's an awful lot of CEOs, there's an awful lot of companies and shareholders who'd be s saying the same thing. They do not want to be tainted uh, with the corruption and all the scandal that's surrounding FIFA. You wouldn't want your money to be pouring into that organisation. But football, of course, goes on at every level, internationally and otherwise. There's a World Cup, yeah. Russia coming up. Um, I suppose the cynical view might be, or maybe it's the sensible economic view, uh, as long as there are football games being played, watched by huge audiences on television, yeah. attended by vast numbers through the gates, sponsors might, well, might as well hang on in there and expose their brands to these people. And that's true, and I think that's what Blatt is... That's what Blatter believes, uh, but perhaps that these sponsors need FIFA and they need football uh, more than Blatter really needs them. Blatter probably suspects that his time is coming to an end, and so he's in no position really. He knows that there's an election on the, on the horizon, and, and, but I think that this is one delaying tactic. Uh, because it's going to throw the whole electoral um, process. Campaigns are due to start within the next few weeks. Um, and as, as long as there's this sort of gridlock, then that kind of suits Blatter just fine. He'll still remain uh, as president of, of FIFA. David Weber, good to talk to you. Thank you very much.